Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise to the Trinitarian God. Amen. Praise to God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit. Holy Spirit, Amen. yes. Praise to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Amen. Praise to the eternal Word of God, yes. Lord Jesus Christ. Bible teaches we all messed up. Mm. We are all in broken world. Bible teaches that in the beginning, God made the world. God made man and woman. God created everything in it. Soon after God created man and woman, God said it was good. Mm. But something happened. Man and woman choose to sin against God. They sin against one another and they sin against creation. While they were made in image of God, we see from the Bible, image of God is broken. Yes. Sin and bad things entered in this world. Mm. That is the time Lord Jesus Christ steps in. Bible tells us Jesus is the good news to this broken world. Bible tells us it is Jesus who is going to bring us back to God. And we read throughout the Bible that Jesus, eternal word of God, mm. comes and dwells among us. Jesus, eternal word of God, Messiah, comes and dies on the cross. Amen. He buried and he resurrected on the third day. Yes. Today, he is seated at the right hand of the Father. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ, who makes us right with God. Amen. Who makes us good enough for God, because He is good for God. Amen. Today, we want to talk about Day of Judgment. Christians and Muslims believe that God, who created everything and everything in it, one day going to judge mankind. Yes. Mm. But Christian scripture teaches because the blood of Jesus Christ, because of his death and resurrection, we are all stand in the presence of God as people who are redeemed. Amen. And Muslims are going to be in that day on the day of judgment. Mm. They will be accountable for what they believe, for what they have done. Yes, so we're going to go through various scriptures like the Quran and the Hadith to see on the day of resurrection who will Muslims meet and we're going to ask questions from the Hadith and the Quran again why they meet something that is very strange but we're going to read what the Quran and the Hadith says and we're going to ask uh, Muslims if you're Muslim here we'll ask you questions. So let's first turn to the Quran. Quran makes a claim that Quran is the word of Allah. Yeah. Muslims believe Quran is the eternal word of Allah. Yeah. And then tells people what is the will of Allah. Yeah. It doesn't reveal to Allah, but it reveals his will. As it reveals his will, Quran also talks a lot about the day of judgment. Let's turn to the Surah 68. So Surah 68. Let's read it from. Oh, let's read it from I've the got Quran. it. I've got it on my phone. No, read it from the Quran. <laughs> Do you have the Quran? Can you can you turn to Surah 68? I don't know. Are you Muslim, sir? It's a yes or no. Okay, it looks like that. Okay, Surah 68, verse 42. What's your name, sir? Sam. Sam. Where's your beard? Surah 68, verse 48. Oh, no, sorry, I meant the verse. Sorry, verse 42, yeah. What's your problem with this verse? Can you read the verse for us? No, 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 wait, let me read it. It says, the shrine shall be laid bare, 
No, 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 no. It says the day the Shinde they shall be summoned to prostrate, but they shall not be able. No, this is why it says, yeah, yeah, let me read it. This is why it says, the day the shin will be uncovered and they are invited to prostrate, but they will not be able to. Thank you very much. So whose shin is this? Why, why yes. All right, all right. Let's, let's slow down. Yeah? Slow down. I am Arabic. I am Lebanese Sam? Arabic. Okay. We are not talking about Arabic first. Sam, are you English? Okay. Can you tell us? Good, good. So this is the time. I am Turkish. I will need help from English to break down some words. What is Shin? Depends what you're referring to. If you're referring biologically, then it's that. Okay. If you are doing biologically, brother, let's see your No, shin. no, it's the shit is here, it doesn't matter. Here. Okay, so if it is not biological, what is shit? What is your alternative definition for the shit? Sorry? I would only know the biological term. Okay, so you don't know any other definition for the shit. I would agree with you, yes, shit is part of the body. It is somewhere in the neck. Just legs. below your knee and above yeah. your ankle. So that's Where is your shin, uh, Lizzie? The shin is there. Yeah. So, so everyone, we can so see, much. we can see your yeah, yeah, shin there. Okay, that's your yeah, yeah, shin. How beautiful they are. It is a bit hairy. It's a bit dark, but it is fine. It is fine. So, first tells us, shin will be uncovered. On the and day of resurrection. On the day of resurrection. Yes. And people will be asked to prostrate to the prostrate to our saint. Yes. Okay? Yes. So in practice, we will see, we will see the sheep naked, like we see Yahya is naked, yeah? and then people will be asked to bow down to it. Okay? So my question to you, Yahya, since you seem to be faithful Muslim. Tell me, who is Shin? Is this Yah? Is this Yah? Yeah? Which one? Shin Sorry? in Surah 68. That one you just read. 42. Who Shin who is, is it? Shin is this. It will be asked for everyone who lived on on this earth to prostrate to Almighty God, and those people who didn't prostrate in this life, they are not going to be able to prostrate in the afterlife. That's why the punishment, they deserve the punishment of God. Okay, wait, yeah, yeah. My question was very simple. Wait, wait. Who is she? Is this? Yeah. Answer comes from Islamic Dawah team. No answer. Shame on Islamic Dawah team. Actually, actually, yeah, yeah. You answer the second part. You answer the second part. What is the first part? There to say shame on Dawah team. No, yeah, yeah. I come yeah, yeah. by myself. Yeah, yeah. I come by myself. Okay. Uh, Whose shin is this? Whose everyone, shin is it? Everyone. Everyone. Everyone, everyone has a shin. Okay. He will ask to prostrate. But you, you people, you want to twist the truth away. And I'm telling you straight. Okay. Forward. Okay. No problem. Wait. Everyone will be asked to prostrate in front of God. But so the shin will be uncovered. Is that human shin or Allah shin? Nothing to do with Allah Shin. Allah will it's not human, yeah? It's this is human, human, yeah? Human, yeah. Oh, oh okay. yeah, yeah. See, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. What's going on here? Shirk and Shirk. Yeah, let's yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, tell us. Let's see if it's Islamic Allah Shin or not. Yeah, Martin tells us. It is the Shin, Shin of human beings where people will call to prostrate. Uh, Why I should, on the day of judgment, bow down to human beings? Do you want to read it? Do you want to read? Do you want to read the explanation from the Quran for the Surah? Let me read it. Yeah, please read it. Let me read it. Please. Let me hold well, it. I'll hold it, Yahya. Well detailed, well explained Quran. Let's see what does it say. Commentary. Let's see who is the commentary from. Sir, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Let's go. Okay, let's see what the commentary says. Yeah. The day that the shin shall be laid bare, that is, when men are confronted with the stark reality of 
the day of judgment. On that occasion, man, man gave a summons to adoration, not necessary in words, but by the logic of the facts that the reality will be fully manifest. The glory will be to dazing for the unbelievers who is part deliberately, deliberately refusal. Okay. Then they had freedom to choose and yet rejected. Show stand in their way. Unfortunately, Yaya, it does not tell us whose shin it is. Even the explanation is actually is not explaining the verse. It's just explaining that the day of resurrection, this would happen. Yeah, yeah. So your Quran does not even know what it is talking about. Another reason they will never follow the Quran. Let's see what the shin is. Shall we read Sahih al Bukhari? Let's, let's break it down and then help Muslims to understand whose shin it is. Because Islamic Dawatim here tells us it will be the shield of human beings. Let's read what it says. Clearly, your Islamic tradition is going to disagree with you. Let's break it down. Should I, I'm going to read it from the punchline. Yeah? So Sahih al-Bukhari, volume 9, book 93, number 532. So we're not making it up, yeah? Do you know any sign by which you can recognize him? They will say, the shin. And so Allah will then uncover his shin, whereupon every believer will prostrate before him, and they will remain, those who used to prostrate before him, just for showing off and for gaining good reputation. Why are so, Islamic Dawah tells us it was the shin of, of a people. human? Sahih al Bukhari. It is the shin of Allah. Now, our next question is what does the shin look like? No, before that. Before that, you're going to see. Yeah, yeah, come on. We already what? defined this. We so, this shin is so Allah's shin is like yours. That's yours. So, that's your shin. It's little bit pale. May, may now I, and it looks so okay, nice. What does the shin of Allah look go like? Go on, go on. Uh, have anyone seen Allah? Have anyone seen Allah? Uh, not that I know of. So, so, so how can we judge what's the shin if he got shin? Besides, Allah is invisible, eternal, immortal. Okay. And spirit have no form. Okay, so, so if, if he has no form, form okay. that means there's no shin. But the shin says here, Bukhari. whoa, 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 okay. Bukhari says, Allah will uncover his shin. Okay. So Bukhari. don't give me your interpretation. I'm reading what he says. It's Bukhari, the friend of Allah who say about Allah whatever he likes. And now you're throwing it under the bus. It's Bukhari. Are you saying Bukhari is not authentic? Before Bukhari, we've got well detailed, well explained Quran. Surah 68, verse 42. 42. What is it you're saying? Come closer. It's a science of hadith. If a hadith, no matter how much the, how, no matter how good the water is, if it contradicts what's in the Quran, and those basic aspects of the Quran, I understand, but this is not contradicting it. This is not contradicting it. I am asking the simple is question. It's not the holy, it's not from God. Hadith oh, and yeah, of, yeah. of people. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is Sahih al Bukhari we're talking about. Authentic Sahih. Brother, before Sahih Bukhari, they like had the Quran. For instance, for instance, the Hadith in Sahih al Bukhari that go against uh, the scholars' interpretation of Tawqeed, for instance, that God, uh, that there's one that often quote, which is that God made Adam in his image or something. Okay. 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 Can you, brother, sir, what's your name? Salem. 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 Okay. Salem. Here's my question. Open your Quran and then read from your Quran, Surah 68, verse 42. And then tell us why are you butchering Sahih Bukhari while Sahih Bukhari agrees with your I think Hatun, they butcher. Are you also butchering your own Quran? If you are butchering your own Quran, are you butchering the eternal word of Allah? 
I think they butcher it. When they are butchering Allah too. No, when they are uncomfortable, that's when they butcher. Yeah. يوم يكشف عن سيف ويدعونا يدعونا they are invited they are invited it's not talking about the mighty God to prostrate but about the people they are invited to prostrate who is Shin is it? who is Shin? they're prostrating to what? people people no it doesn't say people though it doesn't say people يدعونا إلى السجود I am Arabic the people prostrate yes yeah yeah I'm inviting one person I adعو when I invite a lot of people it's not only one person. The people prostrate, you we understand that. You but whose shin is it? You whose shin is it? My brother, I told you many, many times. Tafsir, Tafsir. He's talking about the people, not, not talking about himself. Okay. This Why you is my problem, Yahya. Shameful to the Islamic Dawatim coming to speak his corner and proving for us. That Quran is a false book. How? Shame to the Islamic Dawatim for butchering the word of Allah. Shame how? We're going to show you how. Shame on you because we are explaining to you. Allah but your big us. mouth, your big mouth liar, you don't accept even the, uh, the explanation. You are rejecting the explanation of an Arabic speaker person. You are Please not by a deceiver. It. Listen, liar. Read it, Yahya. Yahya, do not call me in a deceiver. You, you are. know I am not Allah. You are, you are not. Allah who you. is a deceiver. No. Last time, no. when I checked, I wasn't Allah. I don't look like Allah. Yeah, let me read something. Even though you think I am Allah, so. then I am not Yahya. Can I let read something? Let me read the verse again. And again. then I'll read the top series. Again. No, no, again. Today. Again, Come Allah, the shin will be uncovered. You have been in the Bible, Arabic Bible. You will find Allah is mentioned 31 times. Okay, and now, yes, you will find it 31 times in Genesis. Prostrate, yes. yes. So like, let's read the tafsir of Ibn Kathir, Surah 68, Ayah 42. Brother, let me read it. Islamic Dawah He's going to reject it. We'll see. Let's see what they say. Let's see what they say. It says, Our Lord will reveal his shin, and every believing male and female will prostrate. Are you listening? You're not even listening. It's very clear. It says, Our Lord will reveal his shin, and every believing male and female will prostrate. Even Kathir, the Tafsir of Surah 68, Ayah 42. So we have given you Bukhari, we've given you Tafsir and the Quran, and you reject it. So Why are you still a Muslim? He, he, he just said it. He just said it. Answer the question. You, he just said it. Allah Every man and female will prostrate. Wait, wait. Uh, this guy, this guy doesn't get it. I said every male and female. But what did I say before that? Okay. Our Lord will reveal his shin. His shin. His I own shin. Okay. Okay. Allah shin okay. himself. Let, let me agree with you. Okay. Let me agree, agree with you. Agree with Kathir, okay. not me. Answer Sahih Bukhari and the Quran. I want to agree with you. Answer Sahih al Bukhari. If God, if God show his shin, yeah. so he is inviting or ordering other people to prostrate, will be able to do or not? Let me respond. Sir, I sir. No, no, he sir, is, sir, 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 sir. Do we agree that this is Allah's shin? Do you think I can so, also wait to yeah, yeah. you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Do we agree that this is Allah's shin? Yes. No. But it says here, our Lord will reveal it. I accept. This is what it says. Okay, read accept. it, look. You read Arabic? Read Arabic. How can you deny the scripture? It's a shame. We're using Quran, Tafsir, and Hadith. We're using all three. So, Quran tells us, since Quran we did. tells us, we didn't use Quran. it is the Shin, and Tafsir tells us, it is the Shin of Allah. Exactly. And the Sahih Bukhari confirms that it is the Shin of Allah. Yahya! What's the point? I know, what's the point? Point is awesome. Another translation instead of a Sahih Bukhari. 
not all Islam is Sahih Bukhari. Is that all we read? We read the Quran, Tafsir, and Sahih al Bukhari. You read the Quran, yeah. you, you want to translate proper Quran, you have to go through Imam Ali. Imam who? Ah, oh, okay, you're, you're the Shia. <laughs> so, they're gonna disagree even with you. <laughs> we go through the Imam Ali's Quran, which does not exist. Even the Imam Ali's Quran tells us it is Shin. I don't think so, he's talking about Quran, he's just talking about Shia Hadith. So yeah. he's talking about the Tafsir of Shia, but so, it comes from the Quran, and then you go Tafsir. Allah is going to reveal his Shin. Yeah. yeah. What is the difference? We're going to ask, wait. He doesn't agree with that. Do you agree with it? Do you agree this is Allah's shin? Allah has a shin, yes. Yeah? Allah has Tell a him. Shin. Tell him. We're saying that. Tell him. Yusuf. Yusuf, okay. Tell us about the shin of Allah. I love to know what is the shin, how Allah's shin look like. Is it hairy? Is the shin of Allah hairy? Does he shave? What does Allah? it look like, the shin? First of all, yeah, there are principles that we affirm the names and the attributes that are revealed in the Quran. But asking about the kaifia, meaning the, uh, the, 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 the appearance. We don't discuss this because nobody has seen Allah. But right. Sahih al-Bukhari discusses no, it. No, he no, didn't see Allah. No, no, no. No, no, the believers recognize Allah because they see the shit. They, they see the shit. So yes. what does it look like? I'm asking you. How are they going to recognize so you Allah? Allah? So you okay. Right. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Who denies Allah, they will not be able to So Allah has a shin. Yeah? Let's what kind of shin is it? This is a, they're asking about the essence of it. We don't discuss essences. Right? It's a human terminology to use yeah. shin. Okay, let me and you're saying you Allah is not... Here, yeah? You have a face. A dog has a face. Your face is the same as a dog. Oh, uh, oh. Faith. Like, like, face. Uh, oh, face. Oh, face. You have a face. Are they the same? No, we look yeah, different. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So, but I know what it looks like. We use the terms. We use the terms. Yeah. Okay. But the essence of it is not the same. Lisa can make the new shape. Okay. Let me respond. Right. Yeah. Okay, no problem, no problem. Yeah. You're, you're a, little, a little bit ahead of him. So we're <laughs> going to deal with you. And we're going to ask you the forms that Allah changed into. So Go. Let me, let me wait, wait, wait. Wait, he's, he's on a roll. He's on a roll. He's interesting. So, no, he's going with what the hadith says at least. This is not so, so. you very well. While we acknowledge, while we acknowledge, Muslims acknowledge that Allah has a shin. Yeah. While Muslims, well, yeah, we're gonna give you the point. While Muslims are not allowed to tell us if the shin of Allah is hairy. Yeah. If Allah has shaved his shin, mm. what was Allah wearing before Allah uncovered his shin? What was the color of his shin? Let's ask him basic questions. Can I say, you can't take no, you can't take a few Muslims and put on one point seven billion people. That's not fair. How did it sell tells us there is something in the shin of Allah that Muslims are going to recognize Allah because of the shin? My Read question it. to you. So, do you know the hadith or do you want me to summarize no, no, it? So, you know the hadith? Okay. So, my question to you, if you know the hadith, why on the day of judgment, Allah is appearing from the, um, different from the first four that Allah had? Why on the day of judgment, you said you know the hadith? You don't know the hadith? Do you know the hadith or not? Just finish your point. He doesn't know. Continue. That means you don't know. Do you yeah. want me to summarize for you? Yeah, summarize, summarize. Okay. And then we you know, give you the reference. You are the sister in law of Bukhari. You know everything. Once again, I am it enough. is a privilege to educate We've Muslims read Bukhari, that's why. on their you, 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 own you, you, sources. You have, you have Thank you for the giving the opportunity the to explain the hadith the, to you. The the Let me summarize God, for you. God, 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 God says in the Quran. It is on the judgment. Every human beings are right? every human beings are on the day of judgment. Okay, so, shall I read it? Let, let me read the, the, the form, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told him she's not gonna listen to you. Is this a, are you asking questions or is this a lecture? I don't know. Here, here, here it here is here is our next point. Welcome to the speaker's corner. Read to the speaker's corner. If you're engaging you should engage in dialogue fairly. 
you, Yusuf, you, you're listening, yeah? This is what the hadith says. Listen, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What forms? Yeah, yeah. We're asking you, wait. What did he say? I, I, say. I just butcher your scripture while you, you are butchering. I just come alongside you because I don't want you to butcher your scripture by yourself. I am helping you out. Should I read it? God, God says. Of God. Don't get distracted. Yeah, focus. Let me read it. <laughs> you should, no, you should want to listen. Let me read the hadith first. Go on. First, God says, right, that he has a face, right? But there's nothing on to, uh, there's nothing similar to God. So the, 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 when, when the description of face is given, that is because it's trying to, it's trying to put into human language, right? Or it's like humans can conceptualize it. Uh, what, what, what this part of God is, but it's nothing like a human face with a nose or a eyes or anything like that. And the it idea, is like that. No, sorry, not, but it does, it does, it, does, like that. it is like that. It's actually uh, one-sided. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish my point. Let me finish my point. Please let him finish. Let me finish my point. 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 Let that they'll be able to recognize Allah's shin and prostrate them, right? Okay. But you're accepting logically that the world is going to end, that a God exists, that God is going to reveal himself. But you can't logically accept that, that, that people will be able to recognize the shin of God and prostrate them. If all these miracles are true and God is real and he created all the universe, right? How then do you think he's incapable of making people recognize, logically speaking, even if it's, it's, if it's a miracle, right? To recognize the shin and prostrate to it. Furthermore, about your comment about the shin, if you look at the tafsir towards understanding the Quran by Maududi, right? He mentions the opinions uh, of Abdullah ibn Abbas ibn, uh, and Rabbi, uh, Rabbi bin Anas that actually this is used as a poetic. Uh, as a poetic meaning, uh, is actually the shin is a poetic verse to say that things will be revealed. That is in Maldudi's towards the understanding of the Quran. So to say that... So when is the Maldudi written? Sorry? When was Maldudi written? You don't know. Okay, Yusuf, can I read the hadith, please? Can I read the hadith? He was using opinions of the When was Ibn Kathir written? Uh, uh, was it before or after Maldudi? If they still use companions, right? Then that means so, so if Ibn Kathir was written before Maldudi, and Ibn Kathir says that your Lord's shin will be revealed, and Maldudi says it's a poetry, which one do you take? No, no, that's not what I'm saying. So, Ibn Kathir. You take Maldudi out? Take Ibn Kathir? has opinions maybe of the companions to back them up and so does Maldudi have opinions they both have both they have which both one is authentic? The, the, there's a difference in the no, if they people. contradict which one is authentic? Which one, whichever one has the most amount of evidence but I don't think you or I have I've looked into Ibn that. Ibn Kathir has. Let yeah, me read it. Said. Okay, can I read the hadith? That's, 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 You've made your second yeah, point, yes? Yeah? Can I read it? Yeah. You want to listen to it, yeah? This is narrated Abu Said al Qudari. Yeah? I'm going to read it from the point where it says, let every nation follow what they used to worship, and now we are waiting for our Lord. This is how the Muslims talking. Then the Almighty will come to them in a shape other than the one which they saw the first time, and he will say, I am your Lord. So what was the shape they saw in the first time? What is the shape they will see in the day of resurrection? Question. First of all, yeah. in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, mentions that no vision and no mind can grasp up Allah totally. Alright? That's one thing. So, no, any other no way, it mentions shape or anything, maybe it's a wrong translation. Okay, take the Sahih al-Bukhari out in your Arabic version and read it. Do you read Arabic? I can read Arabic, but... Take it? That's why we read English, you see? I think... I, I was giving 20 no, give pounds. Give it back, give it back, give it back. I was giving 20 pounds. I think time is up because only it was for me to let him to finish his point. He finished his point. Let me just summarize what we heard here. The shape. For this 20 pounds, okay? So, while the Quran says, Shin will be uncovered. While Sahih Bukhari tells us Allah will be recognized from his uncovered shin by Muslims. While Ibn Fatir tells us Allah will reveal his own shin which was uncovered. I don't 
nothing and no one was Allah wearing on the day of judgment. I don't know why it's Allah true. is even hiding on the day of Let's ask them. Let's ask them. What, what is he wearing? When it says uncover, is he wearing a garment or is he wearing a trousers? Short? Or short? Or is he like uh, Mr. Uh, Yaya? There are certain things in the Islamic theology which are called the Ghaibiyat, Ghaib, things of the unseen. They are not. We take them as they've been preached to us. We affirm them. We believe in it. Okay, Yusuf, okay, I understand, yeah. But we don't, but we don't, so we cannot resemble anything to something that is from the unseen. I understand okay. that, I understand Why? that. Let me tell you something, yeah. Okay. First of all, yeah. How does someone acquire knowledge about something? By reading. A human, a human being. By reading no, something, no, no. okay. What are the, the basic faculties, hearing, the senses, right? Okay, yeah. Hearing, sight, smelling, right? Now, for you to basically, to whatever you point you're trying to make, basically what you're trying to do is to resemble a lot to his creation. This is something we don't do, we don't never resemble it to his creation. Yet, yes. But you are, though. Uh, it's not, it's just using the terminology. Okay, and so that's, that's, that's what was the shape what, before? What, what did it look like? Did you understand what I'm asking? What was the shape? Well, uh, because I need to, I need to bounce off my Christian I, sister, of course. I know. The the was in the burning bush when God. Let me, let me respond. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. He died for your sins. So let me let me just make point. Allah, according to Muslims, is the one who is responsible for the creation. Yes. Allah is the one who created you, who gave you brain. Two thousand eighteen. <laughs> you are coming to speakers corner and telling me your Allah is not capable to communicate. Shame on Allah. Allah states in the Quran. Big shame. Oh, it is Allah speaking in the Quran in His eternal word. Okay, His shin will be uncovered. It is your lovely prophet. He must be wearing something to uncover it. You guys are talking about events in the and future. It is, the future. it is. So the we're Muslim asking you. Tells us it is the shit of Allah. This thing's been bow down to. Yet you come to speaker's corner to discredit the Islam. Atu. Shame. He, he said Allah doesn't have a shin, and then he came and corrected him. So there's already a confusion in, in Islam. So let's move on. And ask you the next question. So when Muslims, sir, when there is a confusion between Muslims, when? who we go follow? Do we go to Quran? Jesus. Do we go to the Quran? Bible? Do we go to Ibn Qatir? No. When we see Muslims just want to kill each other, when we go to, we go to Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. He sets you free from these confusions. When, so next one. When Allah there are three forms. To Moses and the bush. Oh, yeah. so, <laughs> so Yusuf, come on. We haven't finished. Where are you going? Is this your money? No, that's his. Oh. What are you trying to do? You are applying your understanding of the Quran. Yes, your understanding no. of the Quran. We are asking you, we are asking you, you what kind of shin is it? Don't give me a change because I don't. You need to give me a change because I said one pound. I didn't have a change. So blindly, you just accept it and say, yeah, Allah has a shit. Because it's a revelation from God, that's one. And then another came from the mother of the Prophet, the Hadith, yes? So this is an obligation for us to blindly follow the Prophet. But it needs to be authentic and it is from the Prophet. Yeah, I'm asking you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's why I give you the reference, Sahih al-Bukhari. Allah, when Allah reveals something, we accept the whole heart of God. Okay. We don't ask about how, why, what. Let me, All right, because can this I is But that means you're not using your but brain. Brother, let me just respond. Yeah, go on. Let me just respond. You don't know why or you guys, you don't even something to you. Don't go, don't go, don't go. You must follow. It is your Allah who reveals to you. He uncovers <coughs> his own shit and then he tells you to bow down to that shit. It's not only you bow down to 
the shin? It is, is the shin because of, of his shin. You will recognize Allah. It is not because of his glory. Nothing. It is not because just of the shin. his holiness. It is because of his shin. It just sounds a what bit fishy. What is it so special with the shin of Allah? Is there a mole on it? Is Good question, it yeah. Good it question. No, but she's asking a genuine question. Why are you prostrating to the shin? Why is it so special? It's a genuine question. So your shins are covered. I don't know your shins. I can comment on young girl's shins. What I see is Harry, Harry, and it looks like he just came back from holiday. So if I compare... You know, he is on holiday. <laughs> if I compare his shin with my shin, let me finish. Let me finish. If I compare his shin with my shin, I would say my shins are whiter because I haven't been to holiday. Okay. And I'm probably my shins because I don't have hair on it. So that's the different part of it. Well, we don't know. But anyway, do you, do you understand though? It's a genuine no question. So, in this occasion, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Daniel. Yeah. Who is shin is the hairy one. It looks like yeah, we don't know what your one looks like, but I think yeah, yeah, shit. Okay. Who is shit? Ah, ah, did, did you hear? Why don't you uncover? Yeah, Just like Allah, yeah? So, Just like Allah uncovering, you're asking women, her to uncover. So, women, so Allah is doing the same the thing. Women remove the hair, yeah. but they have hair. I know. They remove it. I know that. It's so, called waxing. So what's the difference? So does Allah wax? Does he remove too? According to you, does he shave? According to you. Hey Yusuf, why are you going? Okay. According to you, I, I guess you make him shave, make him No, we're asking you. Yeah. I'm asking, yeah. does he shave? No, we are saying, we are asking, is Allah shaving or you. not? Because I already, Muslim needs to shave. Yeah. I already know, told you and asked you. You know, Allah must Have be why? Anyone. Because Allah sends black people to, to hell. hell. Yes. So I am asking the simple question. What is it unique in the chin of Allah? It's a very genuine question. I identify Allah from his shin. That's I think we need to. Question. I think they can't so, answer it. This will be one. my problem. I have a shin of Allah, which people will recognize Allah on the day of judgment. What else Muslims are going to see on the day of judgment? So far, they are not able to identify Allah from his glory, from his holiness, or anything else besides his shin. What else do we have on the Day of Judgment? Daniel? We have three other things. So the first one is, Suras will come as a bird. Like birds? Suras, Suras, Suras means chapter, yeah. Like birds. Like chick, chick, chick birds. Chick, chick, chick birds. But does this say Surah 4175? Did you read that? That's Sahih Muslim. No, Sahih Muslim. Where did you read that? So, so Sahih Muslims, right here. Sahih, Sahih Muslim. Sahih Muslim tells us so Sahih Muslim. on the day of judgment. Why yeah, Sahih Muslim. Quran is identified? Which is Sahih. It's authentic, right? Everything authentic according to Why Quran is identified as the eternal word of Allah mm. on the day of judgment? Certain surah is in the Quran. Quran contains 114 surah. Yes. Surah 2, surah 3, surah 76 is going to appear in the shape and form of animal. And that animal is so-called bird. Shall we read it? Please. Sahih Muslim. Sahih Muslim 41757. Abu this Umar. Is the eternal word of Allah. Just remember that. Sorry. No, this is Sahih Muslim. Sahih Muslim is talking about the eternal word yeah. of Allah. Yeah, he is. Heart yeah. of Allah. Sahih Muslim. Authentic, yeah? Okay. Abu Umar said he heard Allah's messenger say, okay. so your prophet is saying okay. that, recite the Quran, for on the day of resurrection, it will come as an intercessor for those who recite it. The Quran will come as an intercessor. Recite the two bright ones, Al-Baqarah and Surah Al-Imran. Surah 2 and Surah 3. For on the day of resurrection, there will come as two clouds or two shades or two flocks of birds in ranks pleading for those who recite them. So, help me to understand this. 
these surahs, are they divine? That's not the question they're asking. No, no, but why would they intercede for someone who is not divine, which is human beings, but they're interceding for them? Here's you understand? the problem you have, Yahya. Here's the problem Muslims have. It is the eternal word of God. Part of eternal word of God on the day of judgment is going to appear as the shape and form of animals. The word of Allah. The words of Allah to intercede for those who recite it. You are reciting the Hobbes Quran it looks like. I hope that those parts are the ones who are going for the Hobbes Quran. Yeah, yeah. The Hobbes surahs will come out. Messed up like Do you Allah see, messed up. Do you see how silly it sounds? Like Islam messed up. Exactly. Do you see how silly it sounds here? Yeah. Answer, go on, respond. It become ridiculous to talk to you because I know it is the <laughs> why ridiculous. Because we're really Sahih Muslim, though. Sahih Muslim is ridiculous. You can't know what you want. That's what I'm saying. Sahih Muslim, Sahih Bukhari. Yeah. And make it like a holy book. Give me from the Quran, and I can answer you. We gave it you from the we Quran. We gave we gave it a Quran. We gave you Quran 68. The Quran. I have 42. Your Quran. Your Quran. We gave you from Sahih Bukhari. You did not only put just Sahih Bukhari. And Tafsir. You put Sahih Bukhari under the bus. It looks like you get the answer from me. Not the bus. Two floor and Sahih Bukhari got smashed. They gave you Ibn Kathir. You butchered Ibn Kathir. They gave you what else do you want? When it's and when it's convenient. When it's convenient for them, they will use Bukhari. For example, that's why it tells you to pray five times a day. But when you're not convenient, when you're not comfortable with something that you don't know, you're like, Sahih Muslim is not the word of God. Sahih Bukhari, we don't want it. Why are you so inconsistent with your claims? Sahih means authentic. So we're getting it out from Sahih Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, and the Quran, and the Tafsir. Respond, please. They're all messed up, yeah. Including the Quran. It looks like they all messed up the minds of Islamic Dawatim yeah. since zero answer. Zero answer to the shin of Allah, zero answer to the birds, and now let's see what is the answer on the day of judgment, this eternal word of Allah. Perfect yeah, yeah. word of Allah Go on. appear as a pale man. Shall we read it? Since White. White. That's not we're doing. Pale. We're doing uh, just logical conclusion, you know. Okay, let's. Look if it's at pale, he's white. Okay, yeah. Let's read the hadith. Oh, you're back. Okay, the hadith says, it was narrated from Ibn Burhaidiyah that his father told the messenger of Allah said. So this is Muhammad talking again, not me. The Quran will come on the day of the resurrection like a pale man. What does pale man what mean? Going to say. Pale man, I can't see any pale people here. Okay. What is and will say? say, I am the one that, that uh, kept you awake at night and made you thirsty during the day. So, yeah, yeah. I can see you are disturbed by the teachings of Islam. So, eternal word of Allah, which is in today's version, mm. Like a pale, a pale man. Pale man. And going to question, tell people, wasn't it I who kept you, kept you awake at night? At night and thirsty in the daytime. I am the one who is asking the question. My qu Do you understand what we're talking about? Are you going to stay with the topic? Oh, yeah, go on. Oh, just a comment. Answer not a question, just a comment. Yeah, go on. Comment. Yeah, go on, go on, go on. That, yeah. You read over. Yeah. So how you know? Did you compare with any copy or anything? That, I mean, based on what you said, okay. that's not. So that's did you read the Quran to talk about the Quran? I have read the Quran, the current Quran. I'm sorry, I couldn't read the Quran of Muhammad because I know it is eaten by sheep. 
Yeah, I you know that, isn't it? <laughs> but I have access. Is it a sheep what? or a goat? Sheep. Is it? Oh, okay. It's a goat. Whatever, it doesn't matter. You go eat it again. We have read it. 114 chapters, 6,236 verses. Verses. Alongside of Sahih Bukhari, Sahih um, Sahih Muslim. We, did, we didn't say that's Quran. She said alongside Quran and Hadith. We've read it. Sahih Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, Tinsidin, Ibn Majar. So now, but they diverted, they need to answer the question. I did extra amazing thing, which most of Muslims didn't even bother to read. to read it, yeah. I read the Ibn Kathir too. Isn't that amazing? So, as I read those sources, it just helps me to be more confident that there is an ideology called Islam. It is a false ideology. Big time. Can you answer, please? We're asking. Muslims, come on. Let's see, let's see. Let's see, give them like, uh, give them like two minutes, two minutes. I'll give my question. She's been generous, yeah, two minutes. Go on. <laughs> Can I give my question? So you understand the question and then you respond the question that we don't waste time because end of the day, Quran affects your eternity and that is a false book, man. Quran talks about the shin of Allah will be uncovered on the day of judgment. Do you understand? Bukhari, no, no, Bukhari, so, so, Surah 68, 42 first. Sahih Bukhari tells us people will recognize Allah from his previous thought uh -huh. because of his shin. Yes. Okay? My question to Muslims today, what is this shin of Allah? Do you know what shin means? Shin is this. Below your knee, above your ankle, that's where your shin is. Allah has that. That's what it says. Surah 6842 and Sahih al Bukhari says Allah has a shin. So you, I don't think they know, so they, we can't get the answer. Do you know? Where are you from, sir? You don't know, okay. Sir, where are you from? I don't know. the birds of Allah? I like Are you a Muslim, sir? Part of your yeah, they know. Shin. I don't know. You tell me. What does this mean in Arabic? What does it mean? This, this. No, I don't know in Arabic. It doesn't matter though. How come you're talking about something and you don't know what is it in Arabic? We know it in English. We don't need to know the Arabic. They're hiding behind Arabic again. These are Muslims. Okay, okay. Arabic, Arabic. Arabic is nothing. It's just a language, man. Translate it to English. In Arabic, it doesn't say, it's even you are in Arabic, it doesn't say, they will recognize Allah from His glory. Listen, listen. Exactly. Hello. It doesn't say, Hello. recognize Allah from His You need to give him the 20 pounds or he will become. From okay. faith, they will recognize Allah from His legs. Shin. What, what does that mean Shin in Arabic? What does that mean Shin in Arabic? Say we don't know. We don't know. You don't know? No. So you're talking about something you don't know. Okay. We know what Shin is. Saka. But Saka and wait, wait, wait. Let me tell him what is in Arabic okay. and he will know. Just do, just do uh, English to Arabic. English? Right? English? No, no, no. Okay. What's your question? Go on. So in Quran, I'm telling you exactly what it is. Sorry? Saying in Quran, the 
كوتيكس اس يوم يكشفوا عن صاح صاح it doesn't mean by legs in here it means by the the secret you know in the judgment day all the secret will be discovered Kasaba, Kasaba means shit in Arabic. Wait, wait, wait. Right, he's a, he's an Arab. You don't you know Arabic? You don't know Arabic. How can you read Quran? Oh, you're not Arab. Okay. Translation of the Quran, but not Quran. Sir, stop hiding behind Arabic, man. Come on. We're English people here. Oh, you're English, yeah. Yes. You don't speak Arabic. You don't read Arabic. Then you are explaining Arabic according to your your understanding. No, no. We wait. Shame on your face. Shame on your big mouth. Shame on your big mouth. So tell me the language I can understand. No, but shame on Allah who can't even communicate with Muslims. Shame on Allah. No, but the the point here is Yahya is quick to point about Arabic, but he cannot answer the question about shit. Because you don't know. I answered. No, you didn't. Sato, that being a driver in English. Sato, you are so cool, Said. Driver. This is Said. And another Said. Does it say Allah is going to show his driving lessons? I don't know what you're talking about. Why did you go on topic? Just a small comment. This word, I think, is translated from Google Translate, which is wrong translation. So don't use Google Translate. What does shit mean in Arabic? Don't Do you know? <laughs> what is it? No, oh no, I don't tell. Why are you not telling me? He doesn't know. No, no, wait. Learn Arabic. No, 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 they don't know. Properly. They come here and say shame on. But why are you hiding behind Arabic? Hey. Kasaba. Hey. You never find this word in Quran. Okay, tell me then. Tell me, you tell me then. But you don't know. Sir, we're reading English. We say we don't know Arabic, we're reading the English. If we are wrong, tell us that we are wrong. Show us. Why you don't why you speak about Quran and Quran is Arabic book? Sir, the Quran has been translated by your own scholars. Do you know that? Yusuf Ali, do you know Yusuf Ali? Okay, but Yusuf Ali, Yusuf Ali translated the Quran. I learn in English totally, then I come to speak about it. Okay, so how about how about your scholars translating it into English? You don't, you don't, you're not listening. No, no, I know. How about your scholars? I don't speak about Quran. I know Arabic because my level is not reached to the... What does she mean in Arabic then? Tell me, what does she mean in Arabic? I never tell you. You don't know! You don't know, that's why! Tell me then. Okay. Tell me. You don't know. Why Muslims don't know? In Quran Sakhin. means she in Arabic. Oh, Sakhin now, okay. Like lower is Joe. Okay, shin. okay. Not me. Not the, in the lower part of the leg. Shin. No, no, no. Shin. Shin. This is my shin. It doesn't matter, but it doesn't matter. No, no, no. Shin. That's right here, but they don't, they're going to deny it, though. If I tell you 100 You're going to keep denying it. You don't hear. I'm sorry? If I tell you now 100 times, you can't tell me again. 100 times. I tell you Try it then. Try it. You did it once. You got 99 to go. 99 names like Allah. Come on, go. On. Just one thing. Let's be frank. Sorry? If you are wrong, just say, okay, I didn't understand. You get the word. Yeah. Did you, you know what I'm saying? That that wrong. Wrong. Our, our question, our question is not about that. Is wrong. Muhammad is wrong. And because Allah and Muhammad is wrong, that makes 1.84. Billion Muslims go to hell. And so it hell. So what we have here? Because the shin of Allah suddenly will be uncovered. Yeah. We've got the eternal word of Allah, which is part of Allah, going to appear as birds. We've got the eternal word of Allah going to appear as a pale man. And we have the eternal in heaven, Surah 85, 22. The mother of the books. And we have put this question to the Muslims and all they can say is, do you know Arabic? Do you know Arabic? Come on, be a bit more theological than that. Yeah, yeah. 
be a bit more technical than do you know Arabic? We're reading what Sahih al-Bukhari says in the Quran. Just say, just say I don't know. We're asking, what was the shape of Allah? I don't say to do straight away. I play games. Okay. Muslims that are watching. Sorry? It's like deceiving people like Allah. Yeah, maybe the shit looks like Allah too. Here's the problem, though. Here's the problem. Why are you on the day of judgment? Muslims are going to see uncovered sin of Allah. While they will have the bird of Allah in the form of birth. Yeah. While they will have the bird of Allah in the form of pale man. Pale, like a pale man, yes. they will have the eternal heaven. Still, whatever you have, you are going to be dead to the hell. Because you are worshipping the full God. You are worshipping one who is not going to take you to heaven. You are worshipping and following someone who is leading you to hell. It comes to the... Can you advise me who to worship? Oh, We're about to. I am delighted. Islamist Dawah team gave up on Allah and Muhammad. Hallelujah. Who is going to lift them to heaven? Amen. Sister That's good. Tell me, tells us tell me who to watch it. Is, it is the eternal word of God. Amen. The one who gives eternal life. It is the one who is identified as Christ crucified. John. It is the reason Lord is going to take you to of God. You mean, you mean, the worshipper, the worshipper Jesus, the slave and the servant of Allah? You no. Worship, no. Let's read what he Allah. said. Because I can see him. Let's read. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's read what he said. To himself as a yeah, servant. And Matthew 10, 22. Refers to himself as a prophet. Matthew 8, 20. No, 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 no sir. You're not giving us any quotation here. Matthew Can I read it? Can I read it? You want me to worship? Can I read it? This is what Jesus said. John 10, John 10, 28. I give them eternal life. But and they Jesus shall never perish. No one will life. snatch them out of my hands. But, That's Jesus. But, but, I give them eternal life. How could a prophet give you eternal I, life? I, I tell you why. By obedience to Almighty God. That's not what he says. Keeping, the scripture doesn't say that. He said, I will give you eternal life. He cannot give you. He said he it here. He cannot give you anything. Because when that woman. She John 10, she 28. Him and she told him, let my son be on the side. He said, it's not for me to, say, to decide where your son will be. God that's not that's not life. eternal life. Yes. That's not eternal, eternal life. life. That's not eternal, eternal life. life. That, that is about rewards. That's different. The one, God. the worship the one who sent Jesus. Why all Muslims are asking Why us? Why all they need to follow? After the acknowledging. It's not working. Sheen of Allah is not going it's to the other side. Up. After they are acknowledging the birds, bird of Allah, hey, of Allah, eternal tablets, mother of the books, are not going to help them out. Nope. Whom they need to follow. Let me tell you whom you need to follow and why you need to follow. Let the scripture speak. Well, oh, by the way, when they're in doubt, you to worship him, so while he worship the God and the earth and heaven. So he Lord was down Jesus on earth, Christ playing games here for three years to get killed. Are you going to listen? Yeah, I'm listening. This All right. is taking place in heaven, Yahya. Yeah. Listen carefully. Then I saw the lamb looking as if it had been slain. So Jesus is the lamb? Amen. From every tribe, from every language, from every people.
fault there you every go. nation. You have made them to be kingdom and priests to serve our God. And they will reign on earth. It What's goes on. Revelation chapter 5. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. To, to receive power and wealth and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and praise that is jesus i heard every creature in heaven amen and on earth and under the earth on the sea and all in the tent singing to whom who sits on the throne to the lamb be praised be honored That's who you, we need to worship. Follow the one who was slain for you. Follow the one who was identified as the Lamb of God. Follow the one who gives you eternal life. Follow that one, Yahya. Allah, his sheep and his birth. He's waiting. I'm not going to help you. Yahya. He's waiting for you. Come back to Jesus. I don't need your bloody God who wants the blood to forgive the sin of others. I you need Jesus' blood said, said, to be reconciled said, back said, to God. Dracula, so the new covenant God, reconciled God, back to God is, by the blood of Jesus. God Come to know him, the way, God, the truth, and the life. God bless you. God.